This video discusses a few techniques to help you write a literature review. I start by discussing what a literature review is, offer strategies for writing one, and discuss how to find relevant research. First off, what is a literature review? It's an article, or part of an article, that summarizes and categorizes existing research on a specific topic or question. In a research paper, it serves the essential purpose of making it clear why you are writing this paper. It establishes where your research fits into the range of existing research on the topic. Literature reviews typically do three things. First, they demonstrate your familiarity with important research in the field. Many topics have been researched extensively. You should be able to identify the most important research articles, the ones everyone else cites. Second, a lit review shows what debates exist about your topic. There's no need for more research if everything is already settled about your question. But fortunately, there is disagreement on many of the core ideas of political science. Why do people vote? What causes war? Why are some countries poor and others rich? There are many theories out there on all of these questions. A literature review establishes what those debates on your topic are. Finally, a literature review sets up your hypothesis. The ideal research paper will test which of several theories about your question is actually correct. A well-written literature review clearly demonstrates that your hypothesis will test the theory or theories you just discussed. Let's look at an example. This literature review on the impact of election laws on gender differences in voter turnout starts with a bit of context. It defines the problem, then divides its topic into two sections. First, it discusses the existing research on how gender impacts voting. The author identifies two main categories of research literature on the impact of gender norms, and literature on the impact of gender roles. After summarizing that research, the author then moves on to research about the independent variable. And there's so much research out there on the impact of election laws, the author doesn't actually need to discuss them much. They just acknowledge their understanding of the issue by citing the most relevant articles. The author does spend more time, though, talking about the two articles that cover their topic specifically. And that's where she ends the lit review itself. The key thing to remember in writing a literature review is that you are doing an analytical summary of existing research. The maximum grade I'm going to give for a paper that just summarizes articles is a B. What you need to do is be analytical about it. You need to think about how the articles you have read relate to each other and what they actually tell you about the topic you're studying. I find the best way to do this to be to identify the key issues discussed in the literature and then organize your essay topic by topic, not article by article. You're going to want to start by writing a one paragraph summary of the articles you read, but then what you need to do is decide what they share in common and how they differ. You're going to shorten your article summaries down to one or two sentences at most, and then write your lit review based on those categories, just as in the example I showed you. It might actually not be possible to write this kind of issue-by-issue issue lit review if you keep your research narrowly focused on your hypothesis. Oftentimes, you need to broaden your focus to the big theories that relate to your topic. For example, you might be interested in looking at the impact of gun control efforts in a particular district. But if you only look at that particular district, if you only do research there, you might not find much information. You're also going to need to look at gun control legislation nationally or in other states or other regions to find out what the key themes and categories are for a lit review. Finally, you should try to have your lit review set up your hypothesis. This is typically done in one of two ways, using existing research to support the relevance of your hypothesis or using existing research to identify what alternate explanations you need to rule out. For example, in this paper on how states decide how to distribute foreign aid, after establishing in her lit review that domestic political agendas are one reason why foreign aid is ineffective, she then describes her theory about the fragmentation of aid budgets and identifies hypotheses that can test it. She then returns to the idea of domestic politics when she describes the alternate explanations she's going to need to rule out in her study. So how can you get started on your lit review? The first step is to find the most relevant research. I recommend that you start by trying to find somebody else's lit review on your topic. There are two good ways to do this. 
First is to search within the Annual Review of Political Science. This is a journal that just publishes literature reviews. You can either use the library website to search just within this journal, or you can go to its website and read the tables of contents for recent issues. Note that you're not going to find a lit review here on your specific question. What you need to look at and look for are the broader theories and issues that you're covering. The second option uh, is to do a search for your topic plus literature review. Note that I use quotes around literature review in this search. Um, the quotes will require the phrase, not just the individual words, to show up in the results. So this isn't as good a method as going to the annual review. It turns up less relevant results, but it might produce some useful articles. Your second step is just to search on your key terms. The goal here is to find either a good recent article or a very popular article. And in social science, popularity is determined by the number of citations. To find a recent article, you can narrow your search terms by using the filters within the library search page. Once you find an article you want to use, read it, but also go to its list of references and see if any of those sources are ones you need to use in your lit review. Pay particular attention to the theories this article outlines in its lit review. They might be similar to what you want to use. By contrast, to find a popular article, I usually go to Google Scholar rather than the library. Google Scholar will, will show you easily how many other articles or books cite this one, and you want to look at ones that have been cited a lot. This tells you that this is an influential piece of research, and that's one you might want to consider using in your lit review. In addition to using that to identify articles, you can click on Cited By and pull up the list of articles that use this source. The last thing I want to note is how to choose search terms. First, remember to search primarily on your dependent variable. This is what you need to find alternate explanations for, but it also tends to produce better results than searching on every word in your hypothesis. So if your hypothesis is, as training increases, police violence decreases, search primarily on the causes of excessive use of force by police, not on the types of training for police. Second, take advantage of the fact that academic language is really hard to understand. If you want to understand how effective a government agency is, for example, some scholars will refer to this as state capacity, while others call it bureaucratic effectiveness. Look for these academic code words in the articles you read and try searching on them. They will often pull up a narrower, more relevant range of sources. Once you have a group of articles, you should write an outline before moving to drafting your actual review. You're going to have to turn this in as an outline for class, but doing an outline is also valuable because it can help you organize your thoughts. So please see my separate video on how to write a sentence outline, but the main point I want you to remember here is to use the outline to force yourself to write shorter summaries of the articles you read and to categorize them by issue. As you can see in this sample outline, the student wrote out the key categories of research as the main points, then used the research they had read as subpoints. Please note that these points are very short. Do not write paragraphs of text here. This does not help you actually accomplish the goal of summarizing your sources. Keep your bullet points then focused on broad topics and really short summaries underneath them. So these are the basics on writing literature reviews. If you'd like further assistance, please come see me in office hours or go to the library site on how to write literature reviews.